Hi all, it's me to be Joe, me to be Liam here. Today we are on a late night trek. The sun's just about set and we are today at what has been described as one of the most haunted places in Essex. And we're hoping to capture a thing or two on our camera tonight. It is indeed. This is the site of Vange Well number no. 5. It was a well built in I believe 1923, 1924 as a water source for people's buy water that was claimed to have medicinal properties because it came from a fresh spring. However, it got contaminated by West Ham Sanatorium that was a couple of fields away and that was for tuberculosis patients. So there was perhaps a fear that that disease and stuff was getting into the pipes or perhaps it was just bad water. But it closed down. There's not really much reason why the well itself really has a haunted history. The sanatorium, of course, I think it was um, for children and obviously some of those children were very sick and probably did die. So the house you can see in the distance there, that's actually the housing accommodation for the matron and the nurses of the tuberculosis sanatorium that used to be here at Langdon Hills. The thing is, it's not actually that near the well. There's been a few newspaper articles published by Essex Live recently about the hauntings that apparently have been experienced in the woods here by the Essex Ghost Hunters. Um, no disrespect against Essex Ghost Hunters, they have done some interesting um, bits on some historical sites in the area. We're quite cynical, you know, we like to go in, not jump into conclusions, um, but this place, just don't really see why it's got a ghostly history. Who knows, we could end up coming across something. We could. People here claim to have experienced all different sorts of things. And to quote the Essex Live article, we've had people who come here, do not believe us, and they've got their noses touching the floor. People stand there saying, why are my hands moving? Then to further add to this, we've got a headline here, and it says, inside one of Essex's most haunted locations, which it, it definitely has never been described as previously, and it says people burst into tears for no reason and want to kill with a murderous intent. Um, and then there's this quote here, which I think we could agree is one of the best. It says, we've all got an aura, which is scientifically proven. Who knows? We've all got a two inch energy bubble that surrounds us all the time. I, I can feel yours now. Oh, dear. Yeah. yeah, I won't make that joke. <laughs> I'd like to think I'm as large as two inches. It says, when spirits come close, they interact with that bubble. Something has moved your aura and it's wobbling. Hmm. Who knows, if you say so. I don't know if that is science, to be honest, but yeah, we're going to find out for ourselves. We're going to go in and uh, see if our aura gets wobbled. So up there, you can just about see the letters NGE for Vange. This was called Vange Well Number no. 5. There was actually five of the wells built, I believe, by an individual named Mr. Cash, and he set up this industry, collecting water from springs to sell to people, claiming it had magic properties as a kind of um, get-rich-quick scheme back in the 1920s.
so this is the well. It's uh, gotten dark pretty uh, quickly. We um, go inside, you see that there. Oh, oh, that was Liam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't think there's any ghosts down here. <laughs> Not by the looks of it anyway. Um, if you want to just pass that, I'll show you the inside of the actual well cavity underground. Oh, it's sort of all collapsing in here. It's very, um, you can see the sort of layers. So it goes down. First of all, you've got concrete with a lot of stones in. You can see there's a big gap between the two layers of concrete between the floor above us and the concrete layer. Um, I don't think this is going to last long. Look, we've got twigs and bricks supporting this. Eventually, it's going to collapse. And below that, We've got all this old clay, loads of clay, and then finally we've got the actual brick well itself, and the brickwork sort of curves a bit. I suppose it might have been a sort of round chamber originally, and it's obviously filled up an awful lot over time because I'm standing on just a load of leaves, twigs and mud, but it would have gone down a lot further. Local ghost hunters have said that ill children patients from down the road would have played in this well and the woods around it. And it's also been rumoured that if you're here alone at night, you might just hear some of them children. So we think that we've found the field boundary, which is this ditch that runs through here. The well is that side of me, however the sanatorium building is about a 10 minute walk that way. So it's unlikely that the children would have actually come this far to play. They would have probably played either in this woods or some a bit closer to the building. There is quite a lot of nasty looking insects and creatures here, even if there's not any nasty ghosts. Never mind ghosts, guys. We have found. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> no. Right, both made us jump just now, and Liam thought it was right. a um, leap. <laughs> this will mess you up. This, it's a massive hornet. Hold on, hold on, guys. We need light. to get this on film. Can you see? It? It's a massive, bloody massive hornet there. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, whoa! <laughs> So if you're an Indiana Jones fan and you've seen the first film, it kind of feels like we're in that film. Uh, the spiders all up the wall, it feels like we're in a temple. Uh, I mean, there's literally hundreds of spiders. You've got Ted and I'm calling up on you. It's uh, a little bit scary. <laughs> it is indeed. We actually just had a giant <coughs> hornet, about that big, bigger than the palm of my hand. Um, Joe thought it was a leaf, or I thought it was a leaf. <laughs> Joe thought it was a hornet and it fell out of the trees and I think it landed on the ground and it was massive. It kept getting attracted to our torches and I think that would have so really... Another leaf. I think it was a leaf. <laughs> Hopefully it's not another hornet. But yeah, there's quite a lot of hostile insect life in this place. Um, our torch also keeps cutting out. There's another leaf. Because um, the torch, it was on full charge, was it? It was, not? yeah. So we've not used it for that long and it's completely drained the battery. It keeps cutting out every couple of minutes. Um, so it really is quite eerie, this place in some ways, although we're not gonna say that the torches have gone out. Um, yeah, but we're not gonna say that it's ghosts. 
that it is a little bit of a creepy place. So Vandwell is just one example of the place that people claim is haunted, but actually there is no evidence to suggest it. For more sites like this and other ones that may or may not be haunted, just visit the Beyond the Point website. So, I mean, it's one of these places that it does look creepy as hell at night, but that doesn't actually mean that anyone died here. Oh, that was a bit weird, I won't lie. I think that was like a twig or something. Can you hear that? Hold on.